Well, our two afternoon games went crazy. We opened up with here, and right here I thought, uh, let's go after the bishop. But it looks like a mistake, because, oh my gosh, we're pinned to the queen. Oh, we're dead. It's over. But then you, you look at it again, and it's like, wait, we can take. Great move, right? Only move. If he takes with this, we take with this, he takes back, and we win the queen. It's a good positional. We're in a good positional that that he, he misread. And if 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 he takes if he takes with this, we can just take back and he takes back or we win this. Or 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 he goes here, we take here, and then take here. And we're we're good. But he doesn't take at all. So we take. He takes, we take with the queen, he takes and we go into a, basically an end game already. Now we hit him with that. His pieces are completely messed up. We're going to prove his pieces are not in the right position. And he further makes them worse. Yeah, can you see the move here? This is an easy move to make. The move is C5. We kick the rook and we're going to trap the bishop. He's messed up. He's messed up even worse. But he goes over to F4. We nail him on F4. And he resigns. He's forked here. This is coming. I mean, if he goes back... Um, we just win a piece. He's got to get out of this. C4, he goes back. I don't know. We could go here. He could go here. Here to target. I mean, there's a lot of moves. You can see. Take. We're just going to rip him apart for a while till he gets organized. How many pieces would he possibly lose? Even though he just resigned. I'm just playing it out. He already resigned. But you could just see how many pieces you could possibly win. He's guarding it, doubling up. Okay, now he's attacking. Let's see. D1, take, take, deflecting the king. That's a good move. That deflection's a that's a nice pattern to know. He's just in a horrible shape. Take the other. I mean really at this point it's obvious that's the move. He goes here and you just trade off. Uh oh. Uh oh, this would actually win for him because he blocks the so, let's see, trade off, you take, and you take this. Make sure you don't just go, da, 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 I'm winning, I'm winning, and next thing you know, you're losing a one game. We've done this many times. Yeah, the tap dance. Dun, dun, da, dun, dun, da, dun, dun. But, uh... Let's review the game. 93.8 accuracy. We played at a 2450 level. And then the other game we lost, which was sad. This one was sad. This was. What did we play as? We played low. A 1350 rating. This was a bad game by everybody. I 
I mean, I th I felt real happy here. I mean, I, I really felt. Look, I'm up three and a. I'm a, I'm up almost four points, and I blow it right there, getting a pass pawn. The move was b4 check. All right, just say he goes here. Now d6. Uh, I blew it. I didn't even see. I didn't even see that was open. Like close it. The reason is not a pass pawn. The reason is to win the knight. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we had a hard time. There's no way to move the knight. There's no way where to move the knight, so we just play on. He eventually trades the queens. It's a drawn game. I didn't even notice my rook was sitting right there. He took it, and we lose. Completely drawn game from a completely won game. Unbelievable. We would have won both games. Instead, we just hang the knight. Great. Just great. Well, at least we won one and lost one and ended up at 1879. Uh, We're trying to get to 1900. It's not easy. We've about... 1900's about our limit. Well, we've hit 2000 before, but but we fell real fast. 1900's a fair assessment of our, our, our peak skill. We can get there if we try real hard.